Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. And today we're looking at this, which is the Olight H16 LED headlamp. So I got this from Olight for review. They sent it over to me. It's gonna run you about 60 bucks over on Amazon. And they do have links down below in the description section. So just click that show more tab if you wanna head over to Amazon or to the Olight store to pick up one of these headlamps. So Olight's put out a couple other headlamps over the years. Um, I guess probably the most notable features of those headlamps are that the actual section, you know, the, this part of the unit right here that gives you the light is detachable and so you can use it as a very small or a slightly larger flashlight. I have actually one of their headlamps in my EDC bag because it can be used as a uh, flashlight like that you put in your pocket or as a headlamp. Now this one's um, got some different features in that it has two Cree LEDs. It gives you a good output of up to 500 lumens. And the other thing is that it has this wave feature. So basically you're gonna wave your hand in front of the light when the wave feature is turned on and it's gonna turn the light off. For me, that's the biggest win of this light because uh, you know, if you're out in the woods, you got gloves on, you got your hands full and you just gotta turn your headlight on or off, whatever it is. And you know, if you got gloves and you're trying to manipulate, manipulate a small button, that can be hard. If you got a bunch of things in your hands, you don't wanna put them down. It's nice to just be able to wave your hand in front and boom, the light goes on and then you can do it again and the light goes off. So I think that's the major win of this light. Let's talk through some of the details, then we'll head out into the night and show you what it looks like in use. All right, let's talk through some of the features on the light. First of all, you have three outputs. You have your high output, which is 500 lumens. You have your medium, which is 100, and your low, which is five. So you're gonna press this button to turn the light on. Press it again, goes down to the lower, middle setting, and then again, down to the lowest setting. Press it again, it's gonna go off. So that's pretty basic. You can't turn on one or the other of the, uh, of the outputs of the LEDs. They both come on together. You can see this one has the, um, kind of a uh, textured lens and this one's smoother. So you're gonna get good flood and good focus. Having used this outside already, um, I can tell you that it does do a good job giving, the, giving you that balance of flood and also that hotter center beam. Your 500 lumens is gonna go for five minutes and then drop down to 350 lumens. That's gonna run for 120 minutes. 100 lumens for nine hours, 30 minutes, and five lumens for 160 hours. One of the features that some people like and some, some people don't like is having the battery pack in the back. This is a built-in battery pack. You can charge it on the side with your included micro USB, which bring that up a little bit closer, and then press this button. All four of those lights on means that it's fully charged. The other thing that I just found out about this, I haven't had it um, drop down to the lowest level yet to hear it, but apparently it's got a very small beep warning when you're at a 10% charge to let you know that you know, you're running out of battery power, which is kind of cool. Very quiet beep apparently, but uh, that's what it's supposed to do. All right, let me show you the wave feature here. So we're gonna turn the light on, put it on the middle setting here, and you got this little blue button down here. When you hold the blue button down, it's gonna actually not just be on, but you'll see it glows blue down there. So it's glowing blue. And then that's gonna activate your wave feature. So now when I wave my hand in front of it, it goes on and off, on and off. I don't know where exactly the sensors are. I think it may be the two little things up here in the corner. I'm not totally sure, but regardless, on and off. And it's gonna stay on at the lumen output that you put it on. So you can't, without pressing the buttons and adjusting it, bring it up to the highest or lowest setting. Like right now it's on the medium setting. So when I turn it on and off via waving, it's gonna stay on that medium setting. But again, just a cool feature that you can, you know, basically without having to press the button, if you got big gloves on trying to find that little button, it's easier to just wave your hand in front of it. I will also mention too, that you can see that this tilts down to about 45 degrees. So if you're you know working right in front of you, you can adjust that. Now, if you hold this down, I'm gonna do this, hold it down, it flashes quickly, and now that little blue light is gone, so it's just back to your normal high, medium, and low setting. Couple final details here, um, IPX4 rated, so not IPX8, just heads up on that. Uh, drop resistant to one meter, it's got a Cree XPG3 cool white LED in it. Your weight is 4.2 ounces, and that's with the battery pack, and let's take a quick measurement here across the front. Looking at about uh, about an inch and a quarter, and then about an inch and a half that way. So uh, that's the that's a quick rundown on it. Let's uh, take it out into the night and show you what it looks like in use. All right, guys, I'm outside. Let's test out the headlamp at 500 lumens. Obviously, nice output from that. We're gonna go from 500 lumens down to 100 lumens now. I can still see the yard quite well. Now again, I've got snow out here, so it's everything's reflecting a lot, but I can see the majority of the yard still pretty easily. And then down to five lumens, this is gonna be pretty much impossible to see anything on camera, I'm pretty sure. 
I'm still getting some light because I'm looking at the snow reflecting light back to me, but pretty dark on camera. I'm looking at my porch now and the cherry you're about to see is about 15 feet away. So here's 500 lumens. Let's go down to 100. And then 5. Okay, different angle here. We're looking at the minivan, which is about 20 feet away. Put on, put it on uh, 500 lumens here. Obviously, again, a lot of good light. Down to 100, and then down to five. So pretty much consistently across the board, at the 500 and 100 lumen output, you can see you know quite well. And then when you get down to that five, at least on camera, it's pretty much impossible to see anything. Um, I can see. Uh, with the human eye, it's just hard to pick it up on camera. Here's a quick look at my hand, just so you can see that it does actually, you know, it lights up pretty well. That five lumens, you know, if you're just getting around camp or getting around the house at night, don't want to uh, want to wake anybody up. That five lumen output is definitely nice. All right, guys, a little awkward here as far as the lighting, but let me step back and show you the wave feature on this light. All right, let me offer a couple final thoughts here. Um, as I said before, I think the major win of this light is the wave feature. So let's say you're out working on your car, you got a pair of mechanics gloves on. Let's say you're out in the woods, you got a pair of mittens on, pair of gloves on, and you wanna turn on or off your headlamp, but you don't wanna have to take off your gloves or your mittens every time. The wave feature, I think, that's just a great win. Just makes life a lot easier so you don't have to put stuff down or just mess with gloves. Um, my preference on headlamps when it comes to something I'm gonna EDC is something like the Olay H2R Nova, which is the light that goes into the headband, but also you can take it off and just carry it as a pocket EDC. That's because I wanna have the multiple functions of headlamp and also EDC light, you know, in one in one uh, setup. But again, this thing, it stands out because of that, because of that wave feature. The fact that you can get 500 lumens and then it's gonna drop down to 350, 350 lumens of output is quite good, I think, for, you know, a headlamp this size and that that doesn't burn for two minutes you know that burns for quite a long time let me double check the uh the stats here that runs for 120 minutes so nice to have over 300 lumens for you know basically two hours for two hours so i think that's definitely a plus um price point for this yeah i mean you're paying for the features and so i think you know whenever it comes to buying gear you always have to think what am i getting for what i'm paying and is that something i'm going to practically use on a regular basis or, you know, if you're paying for a huge machete and you never go out in the woods with a machete, then why would you, why would you buy it? Because it's just not going to be useful. It's just going to sit around and collect dust. So um, all that said, you know, you got to weigh the different options for this light and see if it fits into your systems or your setups. Uh, I do like the fact that Olight has, let's see, the H05 Active is like 15 or 16 bucks that you can get on Amazon. And then you go up to closer to $90 for, like I said, the H2R Nova, which I use. And then this is, you know, in the $60 range. So they've got a full range of headlamps. And this one, again, I think fits in a particular niche that may be good for you. So let's hear what your thoughts are on this light. You know, if you have it, if you've seen people use it, you've seen other reviews, or just seeing this review, what are your thoughts on this? Because that information I'll pass back onto Olight. If you're like, yeah, they need more lights like this, then maybe they'll make more. If you're like, nah, I'm not really into this. I like this other style. That's good information for them to know as well. All right, guys, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids on YouTube if you haven't done so already. Just click that little red subscribe button and then click the bell so you're getting notifications when we have new videos come out. Also want to let you know we're on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr as well, as well as Vero is the new one that a lot of people are going to, so check us out over on Vero as well. And uh, as I always tell you guys, more videos are coming soon. Take care.